Look at this item, crossbow. Huh? That's a play on words. Crossbow, it's actually a bow, it's not a crossbow, but it's like, uh, you know, 10 million. It's not buying for the past 10 hours or so since the revenants have been updated. How much is that actually? Like, uh, what if I put in for like 40 mil? Is this gonna sell or not? Because I think they replaced the statuettes, like that you get the ancient statuettes that you would get like maybe, how much was it? Like, t uh, I forgot, like 10 mil, 15 mil or something? Well, now they replace it with the crossbow and god damn it, are you serious? Is that much? Even 10 hours after release? It's not selling for 90 mil. What about the other items? Because they released the mace too. Okay, so what if I try to buy this one for 100 mil? It's not buying like, like the same drop rate. So I'm gonna try to buy this one. Okay, this one sold. Out of all, this one is the only one that sold and it's fairly cheap. Maybe I could try to flip it. Ooh, okay, so we are in wilderness and oh boy, I don't even know what I should expect from this staff. So basically all the new weapons are used to full potential in wilderness only. So these weapons, wilderness only, by the way, which means also they don't have that high uh, alk value. As you can see, this cost me, what, 60 mil and I'm not protecting it. So let's just drop the expensive stuff. Wait, can people see it instantly? Okay, I mean, maybe if you use Mystics, maybe it's gonna be protected. So all the new weapons have like different stats. So let's say this staff has 100% accuracy increased when you're using it in Wilderness, but only against NPCs. This is not a PvP staff or anything. And also 25% damage increase against NPCs. It also stacks with a Slayer helmet, by the way. And I assume with a Tome of Fire. So if you use some Surge spells on a Slayer task, like, I just kind of want to show you, like, how it is. Like, how, how it is casually. Like, I don't want to, like... I'm going to show you, like, the mag sets, but I also want you to see, like, how it is uh, casually. This is multi, by the way, but it's level 12 wilderness. I don't know. Unless somebody teleports here. 60. That was nice. Hit. Pretty much, like, 3 hitting. Yo, this guy was 3 hit. That's pretty nice. Man, I swear, somebody's going to come and kill me. And, oh, my God. If I die, literally people are going to complain that I'm wasting donators money or something. Like, I'm telling you right now. But, as you can see, it's doing... Oh, my god, that was 75 uh, HP. Also, just realized that imbued hearts, I just take it all the time, but because this is not a trident, it actually doesn't increase any damage at all. But yeah, I would love to see like hitting like maybe... 70 is probably too high, right? Uh, I mean, I'm just looking at all the damage increases. It's just so, so much. It seems like I could be hitting maybe 70. Wait, I'm looking at RuneScape Wiki. It says that the spell has a base damage of 24, but the Tome of Fire increases it to 36. So if you have other modifiers like this one and this one, it's even more. And the Slayer is even more. So I would say it's a huge increase from 36 to like 60. If you have like everything like Slayer, Helmet and... Uh, so yeah, 25% more damage if you're using it, this staff in wilderness but i would say magic is actually a very viable method now to do wilderness slayer like i, I would never think that magic would be like a viable method but it is it, it literally is however we still have two other weapons to test out and i want to see how they will do because the bow apparently it uh it shoots very fast it's like a magic short bow so i want to try this next i need to buy it though and i'm wondering how much money is it going to cost? So now I'm wondering for how much I can sell it back because I paid, well, like 60 mil. Can I put it for 60 mil back? I mean, this is like the cheapest thing so far, but magic, oh, God damn it, it's not selling. <laughs> but magic is like pretty good. Guys, use it. Everyone buy it. How about I try to buy it for 200 million? <sighs> Are you serious? How much am I supposed to pay for this thing? Okay, what about the staff? Oh, I did buy the staff. That cost me 137 million. So how about we try the staff and we're gonna try the bow latest. So the this one has 50% accuracy and 50% damage increase against the NPCs in Wilderness. However, the default stats are like Dragon Scimitar. So it's quite low, but you also get like 50% accuracy and damage. So I think it's much, much better than Abyssal Whip or whatever you would use. So let's try this out. Let's see what max I can hit. Also, I don't have a fire cape, okay? I gambled it. I, I don't know what it is. Let's see just... Oh my god, 65? Okay. I feel like this is much better than the stab because of uh, how fast it is. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. 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 Can you imagine if you get something like a black demon task? You know how you think like, oh, black demons, they take ages to kill? This thing, anything pretty much. You can use the bow, which we haven't tested it out yet. Can you use the, 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 the staff? It's like, it's too fast. These guys have 130 HP. You would think these guys would just take ages to kill. But no. It's very fast. This guy's slow though. I don't know what the... Ooh, 72. Couldn't max it. Couldn't. Imagine if I had a fire cape. It would be a little bit more. But probably I'm risking quite a bit of stuff. So 
in in a sense this is not really realistic but i'm pretty sure there will be people who are using max gear even especially things like black demons because you can fairly easily escape but yeah especially if you like focus when killing like black demons or something uh, i don't i don't see how you would die at all but you know, i mean oh my god this is way too good <laughs> This is way too good. I love that it stacks with Slayer Helmet, but this is not the only thing that it stacks with. It also stacks with the Salve Amulet, but both of these don't stack together. So it's either Slayer Helmet or Salve Amulet. Now, Salve Amulet has actually 20% increase in damage, and Slayer Helmet only has 15%. So technically, you could be even hitting higher with a Salve Amulet. Like, you don't even have to be on a Slayer task like, to get the damage. Obviously, you're not going to get as much damage, but currently it shows that I'm getting 160k strength experience an hour by just doing this, and Slayer is 40,000. But again, these are mammoths. Yes, there are certain creatures that have high defense, but the weapons increase accuracy by so much. Black Demons, it doesn't matter what it is gonna slice through it almost yeah i would say like on the average you like three hit them by the way like i'm just saying like it's insanely accurate look at this look at this one 73 okay well that is the maximum so far two and well that was that's gonna be four but you know average average <laughs> evens out eventually 75 oh my god 70 oh god oh i love this weapon way too much i love this way too much so how about i put for like 136 and see oh oh hey did we make money? Did we make? 141. Jesus, I got all the money back. Okay, that's like 4 mil extra. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention about these weapons that may be pretty good for lower levels is that all of them require only level 60 in magic or range or attack. So this is both the same as the melee weapon. 50% ranging accuracy and 50% ranging damage boost is activated versus any wilderness NPC. And of course, it stacks with a Slayer Helmet or... Oh, actually, because it stacks with Salve Amulet, this could be very good for Revenants. But is it better than a Blowpipe? Anyway, let's see the damage on this one. I drank the Ranging Potion, I hope. All right, it's fast, you know. So uh, don't expect any high hits, because it's way faster than uh, whatever we used so far. So, okay, I mean, fairly fast, right? Compared to like, okay, yeah, 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 you can like three hits, by, but this is also from range. So Black Demons, if you kill them Black Demons, this is even better. Look at that. Why am I not impressed by this, actually? <laughs> I'm actually... Okay. Eh, okay. Actually, it's very easy to see. You check the experience an hour. I was getting 160k by using the melee weapon. Oh, by the way, there are no arrows. I'm just saying it uses its own arrows. So there's no reason to, like, bring dragon arrows or anything. And the only thing that you lose, I think it's the ether, the charges that you charge it. If you die in wilderness. Yo, actually, I killed this so fast. These are barely spawning now. Like, I killed them so fast. It says 170k ranging experience an hour. Now, imagine if you're not on a Slayer task. So, you're getting only 25% less experience. You can pull off, like, not even on a Slayer task, like, 150k. But I guess, uh, couldn't you do that with a blowpipe in Nightmare Zone or something? With Mithril Darts, it's like 120k or something. But yeah, just gonna show you like your regular hits on, on Monster so you can see how, how fast it actually is. I think my max hit so far was like 40 that I've done. And I would say it's very fast. Also, it could be even faster than Melee. Well, judging by the experience, it is a little bit faster. Um, I think mainly because of how... Uh, just because I can attack from distance. I have I don't have to like run to anything uh, Also another thing to notice which I don't think anyone is gonna care about but because this is faster attack styles You also use the charges much faster compared to like a slower weapon like a magic It's, it's technically it saves up more charges than something like a bow, but the bows um, I think so far the I, I like the bow actually I liked everything I just realized the the staff was hitting like what 70 no 60 uh, this is also 40,000 Slayer experience an hour, just like the melee weapon, but yeah, the staff was the weakest so far when you think about it, because it's like slower, and it was also the max hit was like 60, compared to something like a Dragon Scimitar, the, the, the flail that I was using, which was like, what, 75? So I would say ranging and flail are the best, like, th there's almost, I don't see the difference, like, judging by XP an hour, they're very, very equal. I still prefer ranging. Look at that, 39 without... A Slayer Helmet. So this is still extremely good. Like, this is very fast as well. You don't have to be on a task. You see this? I uh, just want to see, like, how much experience I'm going to get an hour compared to with and without Slayer Helmet. 
Now the final item that they added, which is not a weapon by the way, this is Amulet of Avarice or whatever it's called, it's 900k only? Okay, so I assume it's not gonna be much, so I'm gonna put in like 10 million, just gonna assume that it's not gonna be worth that much. Okay, so it's 6 million, could only going for it, it's pretty nice. I think when I equip it, even not in Wilderness, it's gonna make me Skulled, like right now. Give me a PK skull. So you may be wondering, why would I equip the amulet and get a skull? Well, if you are in the Revenant Caves, now keep in mind this is Revenant Caves only and not the Wilderness itself, you get noted drops from every single monster in the cave. So if I kill these black dragons, it will be like noted black dragon hide. Now the question is, is if every drop is noted, including bones, you got Addy two-handed even, like everything, pretty much. Dragon bones, black dragon hide, yep, everything is... Alright guys, that's gonna be... And yeah, bye-bye.